it's Transformation Tuesday and it's a super special transformation day because this is the very first video I've done since dyeing my lovely hair. So if you want to know more about how I got my hair from dark brown to this color of pink, go ahead and comment below. It was a bit of a process and it's still a process because I'm not sure if I have the color that I desire. but. You know what, if you want more to know more about it, just comment below. Um, and if it's not a surprise for you, then that means you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all of those other social media sites. But on to my other transformation project. Have you ever been to the store and seen the most beautiful necklaces, but thought to yourself, I love that necklace, but it's just the wrong color? Or have you seen these beautiful necklaces that are just the right color and they're just too expensive for your budget? Well, I have a solution, a great solution for you today. So, I only spent a low amount of money on this jewelry. This is costume jewelry I picked up at Walmart. Um, I got this layered necklace, so I'm going to be working with this today. And although it's really cool and I could probably find a lot of things to wear this with, I just want some pop of color. Um, I also love matching my earrings, especially when it's for a specific outfit. So I also got these. Uh, keep in mind I got gold and gold. Just so they, even though I think this is bright gold and then this is antique gold, but it's not going to matter. So next thing is what color... I would like to see this jewelry. If you have seen my last favorites video and if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all that jazz, you will know that I do not wear a lot of fingernail polish. So I do my nails, I just don't wear a lot of fingernail polish. Um, I actually have switched over from polish to Jamberry nails, which I am in love with. But if you want to know more about that, go to my favorites video. I'll post the information down below. Anyway, back to the tutorial. Okay, so I got these. This jewelry, which did not come in a set. This was only $7. This was $2.88. So all together, $9. Uh, with tax, we're probably looking at $10. So a necklace set and a pair of earrings for $10. Now we're gonna give it a pop of color and you ask, how are we gonna give it a pop of color? Well, with none other than fingernail polish. So, I have so much fingernail polish and I don't use it very much anymore, so I thought, what can I do with all this fingernail polish? Well, I came up with a great idea. Actually, it wasn't my idea. I actually saw many tutorials of this on Pinterest so I thought I would bring this transformation to you all right so we've got our jewelry now the second challenge is finding the colors that you want um, I was gonna do black and white but I decided that I wanted to go more on the neon scheme so to make a huge statement I'm going neon today so I went ahead and got my Sinful Colors nail art. This is an amazing one because the, because the brush is so fine. So if you have smaller um, areas that you want to paint with the fingernail polish, then that works really good. Um, and I'm guessing this is just a neon, it's called Me First. Um, it's a neon yellow color. Uh, the second color is from Sinful Colors in Dream On. It's kind of a neon fuchsia, maybe. Um, I don't know. Um, this one is by Wet Nails. Um, this was something I got in my Ipsy bag, Wet, W-H-E-T. Um, and this color is Facetious, F-A-C-E-T-I-O-U-S. It is like a indigo blue. Not really sure what you would call that. So, next thing is you want to kind of get an idea of what you want to paint. So here, we're not actually painting the metal. We're only painting the stones to give it that neon stone colored look. 
So, please join me for the actual painting part. took was some very inexpensive jewelry with lots of jewels on it, um, a couple of your favorite colors of nail polish, and bam, you transformation a whole new set of jewelry. Something that didn't even go together, you made it go together, you made it cohesive. So I hope you like this transformation. Um, and I hope you will try this transformation all on your own. If you do this tutorial, please share it with me. Um, share it on Instagram. Tag me in it. Um, again, on Instagram, you can um, tag me at Mariah Sassy Fashion so I can see all of your jewelry um, that you transform. Um, and subscribe to my channel so you can see what I'm going to be transforming next. Um, I'm a DIYer every single day in my household, so you never know. We'll either have a transformation video, a DIY video, um, maybe even a favorites video if those are the videos that you like. But I won't know unless you comment below. So please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Bye!